Hello, it's Bob Pandolfo on Sunday, February 11th, 2024, with a very short Super Bowl analysis. I have my picks here on um, my website. Um, I picked the 49ers minus one and a half, but I did play a teaser also, so I'm kind of betting both sides because the other on Wednesday, I saw that the Chiefs were two and a half point favorites, so I took a teaser, um, a six point teaser, so I got eight and a half on the Chiefs, and then I went over 41 so i just thought that was a good bet you know it should be a close game but i'm going to pick the 49 this is a tough game in a handicap i thought one of the things you like to look at you know when i'm handicapping horses or football is you know how these teams have fared against their competition but during the season they both these teams the 49ers and the chiefs played really good teams and, and beat good teams so i didn't think there was an edge as far as class during the season and then you look at the playoffs and you know it was it was kind of interesting because the the Chiefs played the better teams. They had to play three playoff teams. So if you look at the way the teams were rated during the season, the Miami Dolphins, um, the, you know, of course the Baltimore Ravens, um, and uh, wait a minute, what was the conference here? Let me look at the yeah, and Buffalo. So Miami, Buffalo, and Baltimore. So. These were, you know, these were top-rated teams. Now Baltimore was was sound too. I mean, they were healthy, and they beat them 17 to 10. Baltimore, you know, didn't play that well. But let's just look at these games. They played in Kansas City on a very cold day, and Miami was decimated by injuries. This was so. so even though the Dolphins were a highly-rated team on all of the different statistical, you know, data, they weren't the same team. I mean, some of their offensive players uh, weren't the same. They were playing injured, um, and and they were you know they were decimated on defense. And, th and then they had to play in this you know extremely cold, you know single digit weather in Kansas City. So that was a tremendous advantage for the Chiefs, who were you know relatively healthy. Then they go into Buffalo, and again they beat a team again that's highly rated in the Bills. But the Bills were decimated on defense. I mean they had had four players injured the week before in their playoff win and I thought the Bills really played a very game uh, I mean, put in a very game effort to keep that game close so I, I mean I, I, I that was one of my best bets of the year I played the Chiefs in that game simply because the Chiefs were sound had all you know most of their best players and Buffalo was missing I mean five or six of their best players especially on defense I mean, it, it was, you know, it, it, it's amazing that that game was as close as it was. So then they go and they beat Baltimore at Baltimore. Now, Baltimore was the top-ranked team in football. They were blowing out good teams all year. So that was impressive. But Baltimore, you know, a lot of analysts and a lot of these um, football players who analyze the games, ex-football players, you know, were saying that, you know, the, the Ravens didn't seem to play their best they had that really crucial mistake where their you know young uh, receiver was about to score a touchdown and then he reached out for the end zone and they knocked the ball out of his hands that was a horrible play and then they didn't run the ball in the second half they were throwing long which is against the strength of the chiefs defense because the chiefs have two of the best cornerbacks in football actually three good cornerbacks so i don't know baltimore just didn't play well and so but but you know they did beat them, and now if you look at Kansas City, they, I'm not Kansas City, I'm sorry, um, if you look at the 49ers path, they had to beat Green Bay and Detroit. Now these teams weren't ranked as well as the, as the Bills and the Dolphins and, and Baltimore, but they were hot. You know, that's the thing. So, you know, the statistics could be a little misleading because Green Bay's overall statistics on the season were affected by their early play when, you know, they weren't playing that well early in the season. They're a young team. They have a young quarterback. But they got hot. I mean, they scored 48 points when they beat the Cowboys uh, in the playoffs. So, I mean, they're not, they, 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 they were not an easy team to beat at that point when the 49ers beat them 24-21. They had a really hot... Uh, offense in particular and then the same thing with Detroit you know Detroit's defense was getting better as the season went on and they have an explosive offense a great offensive line and that you know the 49ers you know played very well to come back and beat 
Detroit. So I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think that that was really necessarily an advantage. That the fact that the Chiefs beat the teams that statistically were better during the season because two of those teams were injured, and Baltimore just didn't play well. Um, still, it's this is a good matchup. So you have a you have a you know a team that the Chiefs that only allowed fourteen point three points a game during the regular season. So and they and they overall have a better defense, but you know the 49ers only allowed 14.5 points. So people are saying the Chiefs' defense is is a lot better, but statistically the, the 49ers do a very good job in the red zone. You know they 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 allow teams to get down there, but then they dig in pretty hard and they play well in the second half too. Both these defenses play well in the second half. Um, I think I think for the, the the big key for the Chiefs is that they have to pressure. Uh, Brock Purdy, you know, Brock Purdy is is doesn't have a really you know rifle arm, and he can make mistakes. Even though you know he's played very well, you know, if you pressure him, and of course, well, you know, a lot of quarterbacks are like that. But it's probably going to be the same thing with the 49ers. I mean, if they can if they can you know put pressure on Mahomes, he he might not make the bad mistakes like interceptions, but he won't be as accurate passing. So you know, it's going to be interesting. I think the 49ers though they have to make some adjustments because their zone defense has been a little vulnerable lately. Um, and it, it, you know, they have to figure out how to uh, cover the Kansas City receivers better than they've been covering the receivers. But I think they will. Um, if they double cover Rice, the, the Kansas City's young receiver, I think their their linebacking core is very strong, and I think they can do a good enough job over the middle against uh, you know against uh, Travis Kelsey. Um, the thing is that you know the edge here for the 49ers, of course, is their you know their offense is very explosive. And Brock Purdy, you know, you can say whatever you want against him. You can say Mahomes is better. Brock Purdy was, the, you know, statistically the best quarterback in the NFL. I mean, he has 113 quarterback rating. So, I mean, he, he gets the job done. And last week, he had those three runs where he showed very good instincts. I mean, he just took off and ran for crucial first downs. Um, you know, on three different occasions he ran, and two of those were really big plays. That, that really helped the 49ers win, and it shows that he's pretty cool under pressure, and he makes good decisions. He's going to have to because he's playing one of the great quarterbacks of all time here in, in Mahomes, who can you know do a lot of you know tremendous things. But um, you know, overall though, I'm just hoping for a good game. I, I'm rooting for the 49ers because I just you know the Chiefs have won two Super Bowls with Mahomes, and you know the. McCaffrey, I'd like to see him get a Super Bowl. He's a great player for 49ers. I'd like to see Purdy, who's an underdog and nobody drafted. <laughs> He's the last guy drafted a few years ago. I'd like to see him win. And uh, even though the 49ers and the Chiefs are both extremely successful franchises, you know, the Chiefs have had so much success lately that I'm going to root for the 49ers. And I think the 49ers offense would probably be enough here, and they should be able to run the ball. You know, they have, you know, they have a lot of outstanding players uh, on offense. Um, so that's my short analysis, but I'm going to put the link to my, um, my page here that I put my football picks. I have a profit of the year, but small profit for $30, but, um, picks have been okay this year. 14, 11 against the spread straight up. My teasers have been doing pretty good. My parlays were terrible. That really hurt me. I, but, uh, teasers and, 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 um, my, my straight against the spread were profitable. But anyway, enjoy the Super Bowl, and this is um, Bob Pandapo. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.